Hey guys, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with my favorite website building platform, Squarespace. I love Squarespace because it makes building your own website, blogging, and updating it yourself so simple and made my tech life so much easier. All right, so to get started, you're going to go to squarespace.com and then you're going to click get started and you're going to create an account. So there is a free 14 day trial, so you can try it out and make sure that you love it. After that, it's about $12 a month and includes your template and all of your hosting. So you do not need to connect it to an outside company like you would with WordPress. So just fill in your name and your email address create a password, okay, agree to the terms of service, and then click sign up. So the next thing that you're going to do is select a template. Every single one of them is simple and modern, so this is really going to help you look professional even if you're DIYing your site. Don't worry too much about what template you choose. These are all just starting points, and you can easily test different templates before deciding on one. Also, keep in mind there is a lot of flexibility in terms of the pages you can create in any template. So I'm going to go ahead and select Hayden to start. So I'm just going to hover over it and click start with Hayden. Okay, great, it's going to welcome you and ask you a few questions about your business. So what your site is about, what your goals are for your site, and who it's for. Um, you can skip the site description for now and then you would type in your business name here. All right, so this is what the back end of Squarespace looks like. And any time that you want to edit the actual content of your site, so the text or the images, you're going to want to make sure that you click on pages. Now you'll see that there is all of this demo content in, which is what you're currently seeing on the template but we're going to start with a blank page. So you're going to click the plus sign right here next to main navigation, and then you're going to select page, and let's title this. Let's say we're working on our about page. Now you'll see that there are all these starter layouts which give you a great starting point for your page, but for now I'm going to start with a blank one so that I can show you how it works. So you'll just click start editing. And now the most important thing to understand about Squarespace is that it works in blocks. So you can add any type of content that you want using this little gray teardrop shape. So if I hover over to the left, this gray teardrop shape will appear. And if I click on this, you'll see all the different types of content that I could add to my site. So for example, I could add text, images, videos, or buttons, and so much more. So if I wanted to add in some text, I would just click on that. It's going to bring up a box, and that is where I can write my message. And if I wanted to add an image, I would find that teardrop shape again, click image, add an image, and insert one in there going to click apply and let's say I wanted to add in a button I would find my teardrop shape select button and it's automatically going to insert a button for me and if I wanted to change the text I could do that here okay click apply and anytime you want to delete a block all you have to do is hover over it and you'll see this trash can icon appear just click on that click yes and save. So as you can see, we were able to create a page super easily and quick. All right, so now let's talk about styling the look. So what we're going to do is we're going to click back up here and we're going to click on design and then style editor. So this is where you get to style up your site and make it your own. Here you can edit everything from your site colors, font type, and many other different styling options. 
So for example, if I wanted to change my header background color up here, I would just click on that and I can select from this color board here or I can actually paste in my color code down here as well. But for now, let's say I wanted to make it like a teal. There we go. And the great thing about this as well is when you actually click on the element you want to edit on the right hand side, so where you can actually see it, if you click on it, it's going to bring up the styling editor for that particular section right over here. So as you can see, it's giving me my button block. So I can now change that. I could change it to, to solid. I could change the shape to rounded and to a pill shape. And I can also change my button color, text color, and font. Okay, so click show all again. And if I want to change this font here, I would just click on it click on this little drop down arrow, go to the top, and be able to change the font from all of these thousands of different font types. So have fun with this, and don't worry, there's a little undo button here at the top, so if you make a change that you don't like, you can just click on the undo button and flip that back. So you're going to go through all of these changes here, and the best thing about Squarespace is that you can see all the changes live on the right side. I hope this video has given you a ton of insight into just how easy it is to use Squarespace. If you'd like to keep building your website together, I have an awesome free five-day mini course called Five Days to a DIY Website, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you have any other Squarespace questions, just leave them for me in the comments, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.